Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a review on Life of Pi by Martel. And this book is about a 16-year-old boy named Pai Patel who once lived in India where his father owned a zoo and he was raised amongst these, amongst these animals and such. And then one day his father decides that they are going to move to Canada because of financial reasons. So they start their trip over, over the ocean to get to Canada, of course, on this ship, which I don't believe was meant to handle all these animals that they take with them. But anyways, this ship unfortunately sinks and he lands himself in a lifeboat with a Bengal tiger, which weighs about 450 pounds. So getting into this story was really hard for me because the first third of the book was really boring and very dry. And the first couple of chapters felt like an essay to me, so that was really a drag. Also, he does talk a lot of religion in the first third, which I didn't really care for. With the fact that this part of the book is an introduction, a background of who Pai Patel is as a person, I understood it, but it did drag and it got kind of annoying to have him shoving all this information on you about something that could have been easily interwoven with the story itself but he doesn't really do that and then you hear him talking about all this other stuff and you're just like where's the story but then after the first third of the book you get really into the story and the pacing starts to come faster and I loved I loved the story between Pi and the tiger that was the best part of this story was with him on the lifeboat with the tiger and the relationship that they had which was very tentative and a little bit rocky and it was just really amazing and fantastical and that was the best part I, that's what I wanted from this book was that relationship between the tiger and I. Now when it comes to the writing I found it really great especially when we go, when we go into the part with the tiger and, and Pi because you start feeling like there's this older pie telling you this story and it's just really warm and just wonderful. The detail that he puts into the writing is also was really great. Sometimes it did get onto the edge of going a little bit too far, especially with these very gruesome scenes that um, we see at the very beginning of his stay on the lifeboat. But going with that, I think that those who keep saying that this is like really gross and I can't believe he would do this and things like that, I just feel like they need to understand that Yon Martel is not writing this for a child, he's writing this for an adult and he's not going to treat you like a child and pat you on the back and say, they're there, the animals don't do this, the animals don't do that. And He's not going to shield you from the facts of how an animal actually is. So I really appreciate that because he wasn't um, tiptoeing around it, he treated you with respect in the fact that he knows that we as adults can handle this. I would probably give a caution to anybody who's pretty young, I would say, because those parts are very descriptive. Now if, when we get into the story of the tiger with Pi, and we just left it with him landing on the shore of Mexico and him, you know, just finding his way to Canada again, I would have been fine. But then he goes and twists this whole fantastical story of Pi and the tiger into some religious argument. He uses it to support something which takes away from the story that I was so looking forward to reading. I didn't want an argument on religion. I didn't want to read about his position on religion and what's what and what's true and what's false and parables and stuff. And when you get to the end and you finish it, you realize, oh my gosh, he just used that as a parable and that is not what I was looking for. If I wanted a religious argument or an essay on religion, I would have gone to the nonfiction section. But he went and took that all the way for me. He took the whole amazing story of Pi and, Mata Pi and the Tiger and just tore it to pieces by making it very clear that he was using it as a religious argument. So it just wasn't 
very great to have that happen. I gave it three stars just because I really did like the whole relationship between the tiger and Pi, and it was so fantastic and amazing, and there's really some really cool parts in there, but it would have been lower if it wasn't for that. So, in the comments below, tell me if you read this book and what you thought of it. I will see you in the next one, and bye!